Hi class. So I'm making this video just to discuss a couple concepts with you. So chapter three is all about descriptive statistics. And I want to talk about um, the average versus the weighted average. And the way I like to, uh, to explain this, and I'm going to use my red pen to talk about this with you all. Um, basically, you know, with the average, you know, X bar, we're trying to find the mean. Um, for this example, let's just say these are test scores. So let's say these are five test scores, right? And for these five test scores, exam one, you got a 90, exam two, you got an 85. I should say quiz, quiz three, you got a 78, quiz four, you got an 87, and quiz five, you got a 91. All right, so you have five quizzes. So if I add these five, your, your total, um, the sum of these five quizzes is 431. Now, if I divide this 30, this 431 by the five quizzes that you took, that gives you an average of an 86.2 on your quizzes. So this is just a straight average. Now, when we talk about weighted average, sometimes students get a little um, confused about what I mean with weighted average. So with a weighted average, a good example of that is your GPA. It's an excellent example of weighted average. So if we talk about your GPA, let's just, let's just say that for this semester, you have 15 hours. And this is how you figure out for, some, for the semester. You got an A in a three-hour class. You got a B in a three-hour class. You got a C, you had a science class. And you got a C in your four-hour science class. And then you got an A in a two-hour class, which is like maybe something for CCL. And then you got another B in a three-hour class. So if I were to uh, look at the total number of hours that you took for the semester, you know, all of your hours sum up to be, you had a 15-hour load um, for the semester, right? And then on a four-point scale, an A is equal to four points. A B is equal to three points. A C is equal to two points. You didn't get any Ds, but if you did, a D is equal to one point and the F is equal to zero, which is what makes that bring down your weighted average, right? Um, so you got four points for this A. You got um, three points for this B. You got two points for this C. You got four points for this A. And then you got three points for this B. So when we talk about the weighted average, now we're let's talk about what this means. So if you look at this formula, right, W times X, so that's the weight. So your weight is going to be your grade. So that's your W, right? And then your X is the points for the class. So we'll say this is X right here, right? So if I multiply all of these, all of your weights, and then add them up, they sum to be 4 to 6. So the 4 times the 3 is 12, the 3 times the 3 is 9, the 2 times the 4 is 8, um, the 4 times the 2 is 8, and the 3 times the 3 for your B in the 3-hour class is 9. I sum these, and this is what I get for your W times your XI, right? And that is the sum. So 46 divided by the sum of your... Um, Oh, I think I switched them. My bad. The sum of your weights. Pardon me. So, sorry. That's the W and that's the X. And the sum of your weights is 15. And then when I divide my 46 by my 15, it gives me a 3.066. So, you actually ended up with a 3.1 for the semester for your GPA. Not bad. Pardon my confusion on the X and the W. I apologize. I don't want to film it over, but I hope this is helpful for you all. Please um, send me a, an email if you have any questions.